rich was, I mean, you guys got to really know rich. When it, you know, when we go to the gym and train together, Rich was so intense. Don't get in his way. Don't mess with his weights. I recall this one time we were training, and uh, I think we were doing incline presses with probably had 110, 120 pound dumbbells. And Rich says to me, hand me the dumbbell. I looked at him, and I'm dog tired already. I said, man, I'm not handing you the dumbbell. Get your own dumbbell. He looks at me and said, you're pissing me off. I said, well, good. Get him yourself. Man, and after we finished working out, Rich said, man, that's the best workout we ever had. <laughs> I thought we were going to kill each other in the gym, but it was, it was awesome, you know. Rich yeah, I, know deserved... you're kind of, uh, I know you're kind of loose in the gym. Rich is completely one way. He's all business, got the blinders on. I know you like to bust some stones out there. How much, how much smack talk were you throwing to Rich when you guys were training? You know, me and Rich were falling at the mouth. We didn't talk a lot. <laughs> Only time we said it is like when he was pissed off or something or get out of the way, we're getting ready to do the set. And Rich was one, you know, I'm the nice guy. Rich said, get out of the way, bum. Get ready to do a set. And somebody walked up and said, excuse me, can I? Rich said, get away from here. We're training. You know, I was always a nice guy. You know, uh, let me tell you guys a story. I was headed to Worlds to go gym one night and receive them. I don't know if Rich knows this. But there was a pack of guys that trained at the gym that was standing outside in a big circle. And I walk up, I say, hey guys, what's happening? We're talking about your training partner. I said, oh, what does he do now? We're going to jump in tonight. We don't like the way he talks to us in the gym. I said, man, listen, Rich, Rich is just a kid. Give him some slack. He's only training for the show. Don't do that to Rich. So well, okay, you better talk to him. I said, okay, man, don't, don't hurt my partner, okay? I saved you, Rich. They would have killed you. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, well, you guys definitely had some fun. Uh, of course, you were having more fun, Lee, as you were banking eight Olympia titles. Uh, to your credit, obviously, over all those years, Lee, when you put that last title in the pocket, you put that last Shando on the mantle. Did you ever envision a day where a gentleman would come along and equal or beat it? You know something, uh, I remember running when he was about 222, 222 pounds. I mean, to see the transformation of where he started and where he ended up, it was absolutely mind blowing. But then I met his mother. She <laughs> is a woman. And so those genetics, was absolutely incredible. I mean, the running came from that power background. He used to heavyweight, so I was a pretty boy. I didn't do all that heavyweight stuff. I used the science of ballistic training to develop fast twitch fiber in order to grow size. I did not lift 800 pounds. I wasn't made for it. So it doesn't come to a, surpri a, a surprise to me for Ronnie having a gotten as far as he did and, you know, was after that record. And listen, I was there when I thought he was going to break that record, I thought running was a combination of mass and he projected. Projection is something you're born with. You can't make projection. Lee projected. Uh, Rich, the best of the best bodybuilders have the ability to project. And Ronnie did it with mass, which was, it was mind blowing. So uh, hats off to him, incredible, absolutely incredible. Lee, when he was going for that, that ninth Olympia victory, which would have broken your all-time record. Were you rooting for him or against him? Oh, man, I had a banana ball for that cat, man. I was going to throw it out on the floor soon as he said, slip, bam, he broke his leg. <laughs> I was for Ronnie. Because, you know, Arnold said, you know, when I was after his record, he said, you know, records are made to be broken. If anybody deserved it, Lee worked hard to obtain it, then it should be his. I felt the same way for Ronnie. He worked his tail off. Records are made to be broken to go to the next level. Be handy, everybody.